Behind me, I have an electric L25. Let's talk more about it. So, a one good performance value to compare compact reloaders against each other is the fork load. So this machine has a fork load of 4,400 pounds, exactly the same as on the L25 diesel version. So in the performance values, both machines are doing exactly the same. Same bucket size, same fork load. Uh, bucket size would be a 1.2, 1.1 cubic yard bucket on this machine, exactly the same as on the diesel version. Walking over here about charging, to talk about charging. Behind this flap, you have your charging ports. And it's exactly the same charging ports as you have for electric vehicles. It's the type two electric charging plug you find on electric vehicle charging stations across North America. Further up here, you have another plug that's for DC rapid charger. So in the DC rapid charger, you would charge your machine within two hours from empty to full. On the type one charger, you would need 12 hours, which is a good time to charge the machine overnight. Further, all machines will come up with, uh, out with uh, QR codes. Uh, they will be placed around the machine in three spots. Uh, you scan the code and will get all instructions like how to charge, how to start, how to park the machine, uh, operator's manual, everything will be available on your smartphone or your tablet. Walking further around, here in the rear where we would have had the engine on our diesel machine, it's a battery pack. So we have six battery packs, which has a total of 40 kilowatt hours, and the machines are running on a 48 volt DC system. Here on the side is our onboard charger. It's converting AC power to DC power to charge your batteries. If you look a little bit inside here, you have your hydraulic oil cooler for the hydraulics. Walking around a little bit more, here we have a DC-DC converter. It's your alternator, more or less. The DC-DC converter is converting the 48 volt to 12 volt to charge your 12 volt battery. I get this question quite often why we do still have a 12 volt battery. You simply need a 12 volt battery to run the ECUs and the lights or any 12 volt consumer on the machine. The machine is coming with full LED lights, rotating beacon, work lights, street lights are all full LED to uh, preserve battery life. Walking further around the machine, mechanically from the rear front frame kinematic, the machine is exactly the same as the diesel machine. We have two electric motors on the machine. We have one motor running the boom bucket functions and the third function and the steering. And we have a second motor mounted straight over the rear axle so you have an electric drive instead of a hydrostatic drive. With having these, this setup, we have electro-hydraulic controls, not hydro, uh, pilot controls on the machine. We can adjust settings in the display like traction controls, aggressiveness, ramp up of hydraulic functions. So it's a very comfortable to use machine. Another great benefit to point out is the machines are extremely quiet. You don't have the engine noise or you don't have the fan noise from the radiator fan. Another thing to point out on electric machines, you don't have any engine related maintenance to be concerned about. It's all electric and it's very, very little maintenance required on the machine beside creasing and taking care about the hydraulic system. Here we have a, a CBA kinematic. So when we come out with the machine in 2022, uh, this will be an option and still you will be able to get a parallel linkage like we have on our diesel machines. Further here, we have the Skizzy attachment bracket, which is very common here in North America. So you can run any Skizzy attachment you have available. So with this one, I will conclude. Thank you very much. And uh, me personally, I'm extremely excited to be part of this journey with zero emissions and e-mobility moving forward into the future.